Hi guys, I'm doing a video for my black and pink smoky eye tutorial. It looks like this. So if you want to learn how to do this simple and cute makeup look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have already primed my face and I have cover up on, or not, yeah, cover up face on. So, um, now I'm just working on my eyes. I have a little bit of blush on, which you can't see in this lighting because this lighting sucks. Um, even though I just got some new lighting in my bathroom, at least you can see my eyes pretty well. Um, so, I am going to grab a base color. Actually, first I'm going to prime my eyes. I ran out of primer, so right now I'm just using a concealer stick, and i got to do this video real fast because i got to leave for work in 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this concealer stick on my eyes to prime them and make sure that my eyeshadow sticks. Okay, so you're going to need some brushes, obviously. And where is... Okay, here we go. I am going to start off with a white for my base and rub this over the whole lid. Oh, and I just want to show you that my eyebrows are finally coming back to color after I did a wonderful bleach job on them. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my pink and I'm using this this one. It's very nice and bright. It's like neon pink. Okay, and I'm going to dip my brush in there and wiping it on my bottom lid and bringing it up over my crease slightly. And again. Hold on, let me go grab the phone. Sorry, I'm now getting a million calls a day telling me who to vote for. Where did I put my brush? Here it is. Okay. So you want to make sure that your pink is very prominent. So I like to go over my lid twice. Of course, if you want a more subtle and toned down look, only go over it once or use a lighter pink. But I like mine to be very bright. Okay. So now you can see that I have my pink on. And I'm going to grab my crease brush if I can find it. I don't remember what I did with it this morning. Hmm. Where did you go? So unprepared right now. Well, I'm just going to use an angle brush. Okay. And I'm going to dip into a black. I'm using a glittery black, this one obviously, you can see that I use it all the time. And I'm just going to cut my crease with it. Okay, 
And it looks really dark right now, but we're going to feather it out. But if you like that look, then go for it. We're going to cut the other crease. Okay. And then I'm going to get a little bit more black on my brush and bring it up from the corner of my eye so I have a little wing. And I kind of messed that one up. So I'm going to grab my wet towel and remove the excess. See. Now I'm going to take my brush that I used in the pink and I am just going to feather out the black so it's not so prominent. Now we got like a black and pink smoky eye going on. And that's the look that I was going for. If your pink has dulled down, you can go back over the lid like I'm going to. Make it pop a little bit more. Okay. And then if your white has dulled down up top by your brow bone, you can go back over that. So I'm just going to finish it off. I don't have liquid eyeliner right now. I have to go buy some when I have the money. Um, but I'm going to just use my black shadow and line my eyes with it. And underneath. Okay. And again, if you get some fall off, just take the corner of a wet washcloth or something and remove it. I am going to go in with a pencil liner and just darken the underneath because I don't like how it looks. And then I have a highlighting pencil on top of my black. So I'm just going to go and drag it along the underneath of my brow bone. And then blend that in. And then if you don't like the whites of your eyes showing, like right now I think mine looks weird and I think I look insane. You can do the black eyeliner on your waterline. Which they tell you not to do, but I do it anyways. I've never had a problem with it. Um, if, uh, if you have sensitive eyes, then I wouldn't suggest it. Then mascara, because mascara makes your eyelashes look 
prettier, longer, and fuller. And then since you're oh, oh my alarm. And since your eye makeup is pretty prominent and pretty pretty dark and out there, you might not want to do a dark out there lip color. I just put on some lip gloss with it. Um but yeah, that's it. Um let me show you my finished look. This is my finished look, um, and again, I'm going to work at a salon, so, I mean, I do like to wear some funky, funky makeup colors, just because I think it attracts more attention, you know, you will, being in my field, you want people to notice you and be like, oh, hey, I want to go to the girl with the crazy pink eyeshadow, you know what I mean? So sorry I'm still trying to get ready to go to work but yeah that's it it's very simple um, post your video responses because I'd like to see what you guys come up with um, I've added glitter to this I've you know added all sorts of things to it to make it stand out even more so yeah I'd like to see what you guys can come up with um, so yeah um, leave me feedback and let me know what you think bye guys